All right, so now that we know the basics of how to make a table, I want to walk you through what we can add inside of these tables um, <clears throat> so it's just more than data. So again, I have my table here. I have one table that I'm going to create, so I'm going to create some space. I have one set of table tags, opening tag, the ending tag here. I'm going to go ahead and create my table row. And I'm going to go ahead and put a couple of table data tags in here. Let's go here and let's copy and paste. So you can put anything, anything you can type or put into a page, you can put into a table. Um, there's nothing different. All this does is this structures the, uh, the page. So that goes in columns and rows. Okay. So as of now, if you look at this with this table, and this row inside of it and having two data points. Essentially, I've created a table of one row and it would have two columns. And the two columns are because I'd have one data point and then two data points. So I'm going to go ahead and create um, a, an image. So we could put an image inside of a table. Super easy. Let me actually fix this right there. Okay, let me get rid of this guy to make it easier. So um, what I'll do is I will just simply just break this down so I have some more space. So again, my table, inside of my table, I have my table row, inside of my row, I have my table data. And again, the spacing doesn't matter. Uh, this is exactly the same as this, but since I'm going to be adding a lot of um, content in it, I'm just going to space it out. So again, the spacing doesn't matter. So I am going to add an image. So what I always do is I would go ahead and make each part of the image a new line. So I'm going to go here. I'm going to start my image tag. I'm going to go SRC equals. I'm going to pull this link right here. So I'm going to copy. I'm going to go here. I'm going to paste it. I'm going to end that opening tag. So now I go here and I look back and that's what I got so far. Now I know for every image, I have to have an alt attribute. So I'm going to go here and I'm going to say alt equals, we're going to say band photo. I'm going to go a height of, I'll do 300 just to make it a little bit smaller. And I actually got to get rid of this guy and put this there because I need to end this opening image tag right here. Now again, me, you don't have to have a closing image tag, but I will go ahead and do it because it's not going to hurt. That way you can look at it and go, basically every image that you create needs to have four lines. You have the first one containing the source, alt, height, or if you wanted to do even this, you could do this where you know, okay, here's the image. And then I would even go so far as to indent things. And I would do all of this over here. So it looks, so you can see what's connected to what. So this is your table. This is the one row inside that table. Here is your um, piece of your table data. And here is the image. And inside of that image, here are the appropriate attributes. Okay. So when I run this, it shows up like a regular picture. Again, we haven't added anything else to it. OK, now if I go in and I create another piece of table data, so I want to copy and paste this. And so it's still in. So this row now has two of the same thing and I run it. It's going to create one one next to each other. So there is kind of my two rows. OK, don't those guys look gnarly. So now I'm going to make it a little bit smaller just so that it's easier for us to to see. 300, we'll make these each 100 and run. So there's my column. Okay. So I have one row and then each of these pictures would equal, would equal being a column. Okay. So all I did was I took my entire image. I put it inside of my table data tags. What I would always do when you're trying to add things like this is I would not create the tags first. Like I did, what I would do is I'd go down here somewhere. I would create my image. And then once I have all five or so lines, I'd copy and paste them and put them in here. 
That way you do the image first, make sure the image works, and then just copy and paste it into the table to make life easier. Okay. So again, all you would do now is if you wanted to make, for example, this image, a clickable link, all you would do is I would go back here so that it all kind of looks the same. And you're going to simply just wrap this image around a, an anchor container. So I'm going to go here I'm going to go here. I'm going to say, all right, let's do a href, um, here.com. I'm going to open my, so this is my first tag. And so I know that I need to end my anchor in order for this to be a clickable link. I have to end it here. Now, again, I would go through and I would make sure that all of this is indented just so you can keep track of where everything is. So if I look here again, I have my big table. I have my one row. This row contains this piece of table data and it has this image that is locked inside this anchor tag. So if I click on it, notice that, ooh, what did I, oh, I probably forgot something. Yep, I forgot that right there. All right, so let's try it again. There we go. Notice this one has the little uh, hand. So if I go over here, notice that this guy right here, it turns the color. This one does not. So hand, nothing. And nothing, hand, nothing, hand, nothing. So that means that this link did, in fact, work. If I open this up into a new tab and I click on it, it's going to take me to Google. OK, so yes, it worked. So all you're doing is doing things in steps. Again, if, if I asked you to create a clickable link, I would do all of this outside of the table itself. I would go down here and then what, when all this is done, I would take it, copy and paste it, put it into this guy up here and that makes it easier. And so, again, you do the same thing. So if you wanted to have uh this and then maybe say underneath this all right so say that we have this say that we have this guy right here um oops let me get rid of this guy and well we'll do it another video another day so just for now that is how you would add your your image and how you would add a clickable image to a table